Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leia and this is Budget with Leia. Today we're going to be doing my cash unstuffing for week three and four. So I didn't have time to film week th or unstuff week three. Um, I was writing down the expenses. I just didn't have the time to film it. So I just decided to combine week three and four. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, so week three goes from the 18th through the 24th, and then week four goes from the 25th of the to the 31st of August. So we're gonna co be covering two weeks uh, today. So let's start off by going over the expenses. Let's see, on the 18th, um, I purchased something off of Etsy, and that was fifteen dollars and ninety-seven cents. I also ordered food um, off of Uber Eats, which. It was like one of those things where I was like, I shouldn't order it because it's gonna be expensive, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, I was just in that mode of hungry and I ordered it. So that was $25 and that does include the tip. Um, let's see, on the four, uh, 19th, not the 14th, on the 19th, um, I bought some stickers off of Simply Cammy's website. She was having a sale. Uh, so I spent $14.53 and then I went to do my Target run um, for groceries and that was $134.74. Now I actually went over my budgeted so I budgeted $130 um, so I'm gonna have to pull $5 from miscellaneous to cover the full $134. Um, let's see on the 20th um, the water bill came out and that was just a regular bill. I don't consider that a spend day. Um, and then on the 21st um, I stopped by Target again and spent $14.37 and that was just personal spending. I think I forgot like a couple things I was trying to pick up, like some stationery, I think. <laughs> I know it was a pack of pens and something else, but it was $14.37. Um, and that's just personal spending. And then the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th were no spend days. So for week three, I had four no spend days. Uh, most of the spending that, I, that I've that i noticed that I tend to do is towards the weekend. Uh, you'll see most of the spendings on this side of the page. Um, okay, so the 25th. Um, my rent came out, so that was five forty-five, and I split my rent my rent with four other people. Before anyone comments, it's split between four people. Um, let's see, I did two gift purchases technically. So one of them was for Twitch, which is which is a streaming app, and that was twenty-one sixty. And then I bought a gift as well, and that was twenty dollars and one cent. Um, I can't remember what when I was doing the expense tracking I couldn't remember what the name of the shop was because it's a new place so I just put gift <laughs> um but that was the 25th on the 26th I went to what did I go do on the 26th I went out for a reason but I ended up spending $19.23 on coffee and snacks um for myself and in my family so that was that and then this one was a mistake the toll of ten dollars so i got a little toll tag for my area because um oh i forgot to mention i'm gonna start i started doing plasma donations um and my nearest plasma center is across a toll bridge so either i can take you know it's like a 15 maybe 20 minute drive using the toll bridge or make it a 40 minute drive and go around the entire lake. So, I don't know. I figured it'd be okay to get the toll tag and, oh, I think that's where I went on the 26th. I went to do donate plasma. So I went through the toll and it came back. And then when I got home, I realized that my my account had been um, reloaded or um, reloaded with 10 bucks for the toll place. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I still have money in it. Why did it, you know, automatically reload my toll? I think there's like a minimum or something they have to have or whatever. And it it did the 10 bucks. So I didn't read that ahead of time, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, now I know, I think I have $14 or $13 of my toll balance. So we're just gonna keep it at that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what happened there. So it was more of an accident. I, I guess I didn't read ahead of time when they would auto reload my card or my my balance on the toll but that's okay um i'm just gonna take it out of miscellaneous for that and then the 27 8 28 29 30 and 31st were no spend days so the reason there were no spend days was because by this point by the 26th i pretty much had spent most of my money um and i was like uh oh 
because I was like a week and a couple days in and I was like okay so I I think I just got a little bit too excited and was spending money when I probably should have spaced it out a bit more um I think I got a bit excited because of like plasma donating I was like oh I'm gonna have extra money you know and it's gonna be great you know whatever and which is true but you know it's it, you know it takes a couple of days for it to hit my account so I you know I started spending before I had the money ready in my account so <laughs> I was like I need to stop because I'm gonna start overspending and I technically don't have the money to overspend right now because it I haven't transferred any of this uh, plasma money to my main checking account yet again I was starting to spend like I had way more money <laughs> than I should um but it is what it is I I, <laughs> I was like okay I, I have a, I have a problem here and I almost bought a bunch of other stuff to be honest to be completely transparent here um there's a website that I like and they're having a 75% sale on certain items. By the end, I think my cart had a hundred and something dollars, 120, 130. And then, you know, that was just the base, you know, subtotal. <laughs> it, it didn't include taxes and shipping and everything else. And I was like, okay, I, I technically don't have the money for it. But I had to like save that cart and then just log out and walk away. <laughs> um, but it, it was pretty hard. I almost bought like $150, pretty much probably $150 of just stuff that I may not necessarily have space for, but it is what it is. So let's go to the transactions. And again, I did this for week three and four. So these are all the full transactions. Um, I spent $204.61 on week three and then $70.84 in week four. So that is a total of... Oh my gosh, $275.44, I believe, something like that. And I need to unstuff $276. And just to go over the month, because I like having a monthly overview, I spent a total of $970.02 in total over different expenses, so personal spending, eating out, uh, groceries, health expenses, gifts, things like that. That's $970.02. Now, I had $331.16 in just health expenses, and without that, I spent $638.86 on all the other stuff. So, spending, eating out, groceries, etc. So, still, that's a little bit more than I would like to spend on everything else, you know, minus the health expenses, but um, I'm trying to go back to the way I used to spend. But after paying off my debt, I feel like I've given myself a bit more wiggle room, which is not wrong to do. It's just like, I have other goals as well. So I'm trying to like, reel myself in a little bit. But let's get into the unstuffing part. Okay, so get my little tray out. And let's see, we're gonna start off with my wallet we're gonna do groceries first and I spent a total of 135 so I gave myself 130 for two weeks so 20 40 60 81 20 25 26 27 28 29 30 but I need 135 so I'm gonna take it out of miscellaneous so this should now be 135 so 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there we go. Okay, so next up is gas, which I didn't budget any money for. And I didn't spend any money on gas this two weeks, so we're good. Spending, I spent 16... 15 and 14 so 30 45 I believe 45 okay so 45 so 20 40 and 45 that leaves me with 5 10 11 12 13 14 15 dollars for spending 
Um, but I'm gonna roll that into my rollover binder once I'm done unstuffing everything. Eating out, I spent twenty-five dollars and nineteen. Here, actually, let me mark off the ones that I've already done. So, spending, groceries. So eating out is 25 and 19. That is 44. Oh, did I give myself 45? I think I did. Let's see. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this should be 44. So 40, 44. Okay. So $1 left over from eating out. Okay. So that is eating out. Now I need to do occasions. That is in this binder. So I need to take out a total of 22, 20, 42. So minus 42, today is the 31st, or is it the 1st? Crap, I don't remember. Either way, um, that leaves me with, should leave me with $25. So let's see, 20, 25, 30, nope, <laughs> 20, 30, 40, and then 41, 42. All right, so 20, 42. So that leaves me with 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5. 25 for occasions. Okay. And lastly, I need to unstuff for miscellaneous. So for that toll that I was not expecting. So. That is okay though. So I have twenty dollars in here. So I'm gonna have to stuff ten. Oh, not plus ten, minus ten. So five and ten leaves me with ten dollars for miscellaneous. Um, I keep thinking about changing things up in my binders, just um, condensing stuff here and there, just because. Uh, I feel like I have a lot of categories and I, I've been wanting to condense recently and I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I'm trying to see how it would work, what category, categories would come together, which can stay separate. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Um, but before I completely uh, roll over all my money, let's actually count this. And this should be uh, 276. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So 210, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Perfect. So 70, 276. So it's going to stay right there. And now we're going to go into my wallet and unstuff whatever I had in here. Groceries, gas, had nothing, spending, and then eating out, had the one dollar. Miscellaneous, had nothing at all. Okay, so let's go to spending first. And that had 15? Yeah, 15, okay, so 15 dollars. For spending so plus 15 is 27 so 5 10 15 20 21 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay eating out it's just the one dollar I don't have much money in here anyway what six no seven dollars so plus one eight 
one dollar in here so five six seven and eight so these right here are the categories that i'm thinking about condensing into one uh so for the longest time i had um all my rollover spread out into different categories so that way i wouldn't spend all my money on eating out for you know for example if i had twenty dollars in rollover for groceries i wouldn't suddenly start spending that on eating out um i would keep it as groceries um but i'm trying to think i'm trying to decide to decide if i should keep all this rollover money into one envelope or one category just like rollover or miscellaneous and then pull from it when i need to but i don't know if I'll, if i would have the self control to do that i think i will i mean i've been doing pretty well besides i guess this past week when i almost bought a bunch of stuff but like i've been doing pretty well for months so i think i'll be okay but I don't know we'll see <laughs> because i think i have like 100 to 150 dollars in like rollover money which i could use for um i've been really thinking that i need to buy new clothes i'm not the person that buys clothes for myself um i tend to buy gifts for other people or like smaller knickknacks uh but not really things that i need like clothes you know um underwear which i'm fine with underwear but it's like the thing i tend to leave that to the last possible moment um for example one of my shirts has a hole in it and i'm like it's fine i don't need to get more shirts and i'm like i probably should um i think part of it is because i work from home so i don't I haven't needed to buy work clothes in like three years um i you know, I can wear whatever I want when I'm working from home. So I haven't felt the need to buy any clothes for myself. But they're at that point where I need, where they're not in the best condition, pretty much. So I need to buy new clothes. Anyway, so that's what I'm thinking about doing there with the rollover money. But I'm not sure. I don't know. It's been so long since it's been like at zero for rollover. So I'm kind of nervous about it. <laughs> but there we go. That is the end of this video. Um, I unstuffed everything that I needed to, and which was two hundred and seventy-six dollars. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and listening to my rants, uh, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye.